What's going on you guys? George from SFA Cichlids here. On today's video we're going to be discussing all things water changes. How we do them, why we do them, how often you should do them, and what are the benefits of doing water changes. This video is mainly made for people new to the aquarium hobby, but if you are a veteran, stay tuned, you might learn a thing or two. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up, share it, and comment so the video reaches more people that need this information. So the first thing I want to discuss is why we do water changes. The main part of it is to lower nitrates. Now, if you're completely new to fish keeping and you don't know anything about the nitrogen cycle, it, here's a short version for you. Fish make waste. The waste converts into ammonia. Ammonia is highly toxic for your fish. Ammonia is then converted through beneficial bacteria to nitrite and nitrite is less toxic and then nitrite is converted to nitrates. Now nitrates, the only way to get them out of your water is to do water changes. So that's one of the main reasons we do them. Another reason why we do water changes is to lower the amount of hormones that are in the water. Fish produce hormones naturally and when there is a high level of hormones in the water, the other fish tend not to grow as much. So when you do a water change, you're taking out these hormones out of the water and giving them time to build back up again. Another reason we do water changes is to add back nutrients in the water that were consumed by plants before. So your tap water has uh, natural iron, zinc, different nutrients that plants consume and over time the plants will take all of that out of the water that's in the tank. So when you do a water change, you're adding new nutrients in. The main reason most of us do water changes is to make the tank look as nice as possible. So uh, cleaning out your substrate, your poop, most medications require you to do water changes to remove them. I think general cure, for example, is every 48 hours, you have to do a 50% or so water change to get some of that medication out. And another very important part, especially with African cichlids, is you're gonna see that they fight a lot. So when they have nipped fins or they have a little scar somewhere, when you do a water change and you add salt to the water, it helps them regenerate their slime coat and helps them heal a little bit faster. Clean water is key to healing fish. The next subject I wanted to touch on is how we do water changes. So here throughout the video, you're gonna be seeing various clips of us actually doing a water change on our 120 gallon tank. The first thing I want you to uh, keep in mind is that the python is absolutely necessary. It's gonna make your life so much easier than having to carry buckets and this is a device that you just put onto your sink and it pretty much drains the water and you can fill it back up without having to lift any buckets and we'll go more in depth into how it's used. The steps that we do when we're doing a water change, first of all, we're gonna to wanna to start draining the water with the siphon. Now, as the water level starts coming down, we wanna clean the algae off the glass. The reason you wanna do this while you're draining the water is that so those algae particles uh, stay in the water right and then since you're taking some of that water out some of that algae is going to go along with it another important thing is that if your water level drops too low you want to make sure you disconnect your heater if your heater is out of the water and it's still plugged in it could be very dangerous and if you add water too quickly to the heater since it's very hot and you're adding cold water the heater could potentially explode you also want to disconnect any filters that might turn off uh, so you don't have to prime them again. Now as your water is draining as well, we disconnect the filters that need cleaning. On our 120 gallon tank, we have four filters and we clean about one to two every time we do a water change. I do not recommend you cleaning more than half the filters in your tank at once, just in case so you don't disrupt your cycle. Now, once your tank is at a certain level where you want to start filling it back up, you want to add your dechlorinator. Here you can see that we use Seachem Safe, which is a concentrated form of prime. You could use your dechlorinator of choice. We've always used Seachem Safe and Prime and have never had issues. Once your dechlorinator is added, then you want to start filling your tank back up. This is where a lot of people go wrong. You don't just want to open the hose as fast as the water could go. You want to fill it in at a slow constant pace as to not shock your fish. 
Sometimes even if you do a 50% water change, if you add the water in too quickly, it might be a different pH or a different temperature in the water or just water they're not completely used to. And the fish are already undergoing stress from the water change, so you don't want to stress them out by adding the water too quickly on top of that. Once the tank is filled, you just want to connect everything back up. And the last thing that I do is go ahead and take a damp paper towel, uh, clean the glass on the outside, and then dry it up right after. Now, pretty much the most important question should be how often do you need to do your water changes and how much water do you have to take out? And honestly, it depends on the fish you have in your tank and your tank volume. So on our 120 gallon tank, we've done everything from water changes once a week to water changes every three weeks or so when we haven't been able to get to it and the fish have done fine. Obviously, the more often that you do water changes, the better it is going to be for the fish and you're going to see them happier and more thriving. But the best would be every week or two if you can. Uh, the more you let those nitrates build up, the higher chance you have to get a disease that it could just be due to uh, poor water parameters. And just because your fish don't look sick doesn't mean that there's nothing in your water. As your nitrates build up and that water starts getting a little dirtier, things such as fin rot and some other diseases might appear. As far as this tank, you know, cichlids, and if you have cichlids, cichlids are very messy fish. So whenever you do a water change, I recommend you do about 50% at least. And then if you want to do more, you could work your way up from there. But do 50%, follow the steps in this video. Make sure you don't fill the water up too fast so the fish don't get shocked. Another important thing is to set up your own schedule. Uh, once you have your own schedule, your fish will get used to that schedule too. So if you're used to doing water changes once every two or three months, let's say, don't just all of a sudden start doing water changes every day um, because that might really shock the fish and the water is going to change drastically. I also do a bit of aquarium maintenance on the side and I had a client that hadn't done a water change in about a year. And if you look at his tank, the fish seem like they're doing fine. The tank, it looks okay. I mean, obviously it's not gonna look as good as if you did water changes on it every couple weeks or so. The longer that I've been in the hobby, I've come to realize that this weekly or bi-weekly water change is not needed. But if you want your fish to thrive, I really recommend that you do so. One of the best ways to know when you need to do your water change is to test your water. Up here, I'm gonna leave a link to a video that I made in the past that uh, shows you how to test your water with the API Master Test Kit. I recommend each one of you gets one of these as soon as possible. And down in the description, I'll leave an Amazon affiliate link to where you can purchase. And last but not least is how these water changes can help your tank. Number one, is increased fish growth and healing. So I'm an African cichlid breeder. So when we have those little fry and we want to grow them out to make some money from them, you want them to grow as fast as possible. The best way to have them growing as fast as possible is to do water changes at least once a week, preferably twice a week. Again, it depends on the tank volume and everything because if I have 10 one inch fish in my pond outside that's 150 gallons whether i do a water change once or twice a week is not going to affect them that much because again the hormones aren't clouding up all that water yet another way that water changes are going to help you is that it's going to prevent fish disease from poor water quality things such as fin rot and other things like i have mentioned before even ick can come from poor water quality and if your water quality is low and your fish get these disease, it is much harder for them to recuperate. Everybody likes that crystal clear look like you could see here in the background. And doing water changes once a week or once every two weeks definitely helps you achieve that. One of the most important things is for your fish to be thriving and happy and have the best life that you could give them. I hope you 
enjoyed today's video and you learned something from it. If you're new to the channel, we post videos like this as well as all sorts of African cichlid and fish keeping videos. So swing by the channel, check it out and subscribe if you like it. Hit the thumbs up button to share this with more people that need to learn this information. And until the next video, I'll see you guys later.